All right guys, so this is an NX650 Honda. It's a 1988. It's really cool, so I plasti dipped it. Um, and then if you go closer, um, that's wearing out on me. So, this, I mean, it used to look a lot greener and cooler, but over the past couple years, it got very dirty. I am doing one last, I guess not one last, but this is so close to finishing up my NX650 project. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited. So right now I'm just plasti dipping everything again. So um, I did this back when I first got it back in 2015 or 16. And uh, I mean, it's it's held up over the years, kind of. Uh, I'm just going back over everything and then I'm gonna switch some things around. Just making everything look uh, more refined and better. Um, and like I said, I'm trying to be more, more thorough this time. And also with this, like last time I did a terrible job and it's looking like I'm about to do a terrible job again, but I'm hoping I can save it and everything will be all right with that. Um, this was actually in good condition as is. I just cleaned it off and I've added a couple more layers and it's looking really good. Um, I'm gonna have to come back sometime and do all this over again. You can't really tell, but right here is where the Plasti Dip ends. And then right here is where the old paint begins. So I'm gonna have to re-plasti dip over that paint and then over the plasti dip layer. I'm gonna have to go over this again, which honestly this one kind of same thing doesn't look terrible, but I'm gonna redo it. Um, this, yeah, I uh, I got into the really old paint it looks like. So yeah, I'm gonna have to re-go over all that. Um, once again, the other side of the exhaust. And then I think that's about it. I got these smoked out. These have been smoked out, but I mean, I'm keeping them that way because it looks really good. Um, and then after this, so I'm gonna get everything plastic dipped and then I'm gonna do an oil change when the oil change kit from Amazon comes in and she will be ready to ride. I am so, so excited. I'll explain why it's not perfect or exactly what I wanted. I mean, I won't complain too much about it, but. All right guys, second to last stage. Um, so this is the bike um, So here's why I don't like what I did so with Plasti dip um, So like I said I had done this back in like 2015 and so I wasn't able to get everything up and you'll see like right there Or like even up there you can see it just bubbles out more um, And the same goes for this side too Right there. Yeah, you can see that line right there. So I thought maybe I could um you know make it make it uh like fade into each other almost but that didn't happen so i mean it still looks better it's it's way cleaner than it was way better um but like i said you have to take off the plastic dip completely if you want like a a better look than what i did um nonetheless plastic dip is a really cheap and awesome option and it gave like that matte look and also it's just that rubbery material that you can take off um super cool though and uh, so yeah, last stage, I'm going to wash it all down and uh, get the tires really good and hopefully give them a shine. And then I'm going to be using this dirt remover and see how that works on the rims because like, this one is just filthy. So we're going to try it out. Stay tuned. I washed everything down as best I could. I, I even got in between the spokes, but I mean, there's still some parts that just won't come off. So that's that's pretty stupid and lame, but... um. Yeah, it looks, looks real clean. Um, I'm actually really happy with the front tire. A lot of that dirt did come off. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, the next step is oil change. And that shouldn't be too bad. I think it's coming Wednesday. So pretty excited about that. I've never done an oil change on this bike. It'd be like a brand new bike. So I'm pretty excited.